Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you how easily you can visualize data in different ways using a very powerful library named Matplotlib in Python. So let's get started. First thing we need to import the library Matplotlib. Then we will initialize some data. Now this data is about price of ice cream at different temperatures. For example, when it's 11 degree temperature, the price is $0.8. Now let's define the chart. It is going to be a scatter plot. temperature is on the x-axis and we're going to put the ice cream price along y-axis finally we plot the chart here we have a very basic chart showing the change of price of ice cream with respect to increase and decrease of temperature uh, now let's add some labels and title. Start with the title. And something like this. Temperature and Copy, paste, that is what programmers do. That should do it. Yeah, it's better. Now let's add some style to the chart. So there are many different styles. You can see the styles uh, like this. And there you go. Okay. Now let's add another set of data. This time it is going to be the price of jacket. Let's plot this data into the oops. Yeah, let's plot this data into the same graph. Now the first problem is that we don't know which color represents which data and secondly the change of pattern in orange colored data is not clear as its range of change is very small compared to the blue ones and the blue ones represent the price of jacket. So at first let's add the legend. Label. Do the same thing here. Label. Check. Okay. Still, we don't have the legend. Okay. Let's. Oh, miss this one. All right. Perfect. Now let's solve the other problem. Since each value of ice cream data is very small, we will increase that so that its value becomes close to each values of jacket data. 
So we're going to run a for loop here. So now we are kind of processing the data. Great. Now we can see that with the increase of temperature, the price of ice cream increases, whereas the price of jacket decreases. So we got a really cool pattern here. Finally, let's change the color of these dots. Blue would be good for the ice cream. I think also let's change the style as well great okay so there is no grid let's add the grid Perfect. So now we have a decent looking graph showing different data and patterns. Now let's see some other types of graphs. So this one represents a line graph. The main difference is the different function call here. Let's run it. Now this graph represents uh, the yearly average salary of different developer with increase of age. So it has a different style. It is basically a line chart. Here is a similar graph, but this time it is a bar chart visualizing the same data. Let's run this one. It's a different style. Now we will be loading data from Excel sheet in CSV. So uh, this is the one. So here I have a huge amount of data representing the popularity of programming languages. This yeah, this code reads data from CSV and stores it into stores it using counter. Let's run that. Yeah, everything looks good. So this one is a horizontal bar chart where we can see that JavaScript is the most popular programming language. We can do this kind of activities as well. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Here is the scatterplot version of the same data. Yep. Looks pretty neat. Finally, I will conclude this video with a heat map chart that shows the correlation between different attributes of a car. These are the attributes of the car. So here uh, the value ranges from minus 1 to 1. Uh, there is a strong relation if the value is more 
towards positive 1 and similarly the relation is weak if the value is more towards the negative 1. So that is how we can visualize different data in different forms. Oh, and one more thing yeah, we can, yeah. Here's another design. Please ignore the sound in the background. Thank you. So that is how we can visualize different data in different forms uh, using the library Matplotlib and Python. Hope you liked the video. Uh, stay safe. Bye.